Hi, I'm Corey Williams from Daydream Studios, and today I'm going to be live streaming uh, as I create a brand new episode of Silly Crocodile in Unreal Engine 5. Um, if you've never heard of Silly Crocodile, Silly Crocodile is a series about a world full of silly crocodiles um, that do all sorts of silly things. I mean, it's pretty much the name explains it. Uh, this is a YouTube series for kids between the ages of about two and six years old and uh, having lots and lots of fun with this. Um, I am doing this in real time, so I will be chatting with people. Uh, hello, hello, as they coming in, hello everybody. Uh, and so I'm gonna have lots and lots of fun. Uh, I'm gonna take feedback from the uh, people watching. Uh, I did this yesterday as a test to make sure I could live stream and I got some really great feedback and added in some really fun elements into the story to make this even better. So this experience of creating this episode is really a collaboration between you, the viewers, and myself, which I think is fantastic. And being somebody who is extremely social, working alone, I think this, you know, this this is uh, this is good for me. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, I want to ensure that uh, all the sound is working fine, uh, that that everything is good. So if uh, everyone in chat could just say yes, sound is great, that would be awesome. And for those uh, watching later, well. The people in chat are helping you, so thank them. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my screen here in OBS. I'm gonna be recording an OBS on the side here. I have a very wide monitor, so you're gonna see my head turn in a lot. <laughs> All right, so yeah, here we are in uh, the world of Abacadef. Why is it called Abacadef? Well, again, kids series. I want the kids to see A, B, C, D, E, F, and it just sounds like Abacadef, right? And plus, I, I just feel like, thank you guys, the sound is great, I love it. So, uh, and I just I just feel like it's, uh, it's, it's silly. So, uh, I'm gonna show you what we created yesterday uh, when I did a live stream. Uh, so you can kind of get a sense of, of what this is gonna look like and what it's gonna feel like. And hopefully the uh, the other sound that I have coming in, I got some lo-fi music. Hopefully that doesn't um, uh, bother things too much for you. But let's let's give it a, let's give it a shot. So we're gonna go to my movies folder, and we're gonna check out. Oh, is it not movies? Oh no, it's under cinematics. My bad. I'm gonna go to cinematics and then go to what I recorded yesterday, which is right here. This is the sequencer. Just gonna bounce around for just a moment. We're gonna take this all the way back to the top. We're gonna jump into it. And hang on a second. Why is this sign still laying down? It's not supposed to be laying down. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Expect a couple glitches here and there. All right, so let's take a look now at, uh, at this. I will turn the audio down for the, uh, the background. Let's see. Or if I, I don't know if I can. I can pause, I can pause the other music. So I'll pause the other music so you can kind of see what's happening. There we go. I think I'm doing things right. <laughs> All right, have a listen to this. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the oh. silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. Uh, what are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast? Yeah, that's a great idea. So off he went to find himself some breakfast. So that was just the opening of this, uh, of this little episode, right? And, um, it, you know, quickly, we just threw this together and set up the camera and, and all of that. So let me show you, I'll go ahead and get out of sequencer now so you can kind of see what this looks like for those of you who've never seen behind the scenes of the Silly Crocodile and how this is actually made. Um, this is being really done in real time. So basically, when I go to simulate, I can walk around. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone on. Let me turn my phone on. And with my handy dandy plugin that you can actually get on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, I'm able to uh, control the face. And yes, it's this... a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile just quick. woke up from a good. I get my phone going there. Do, do, do. I should have turned my phone on before I started this project, but that's okay. Still works. I'll just put that right over there. So I'm using the uh, Live Link Face app, and they're just kind of pointing it at my face. It doesn't have to be right next to it, but let's go ahead and watch this. So, using a PS4 controller. Ah, pop, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Jumping. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a beautiful day in Abacadet. <laughs> So that's how that works. I mean, there's really, I was gonna say there's nothing to it, but actually there's a lot to it to make it look like there's nothing to it. Uh, and then what I'm doing is essentially recording the motion in real time. So that's what makes this a real time uh, project is that I'm just recording it in Take Recorder and I will show you what that looks like. So um, behind the scenes, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the music. You're gonna see here, um, I'll show you the blueprint behind this. So this is called a level blueprint. A uh, level blueprint is essentially the, the code that goes for the entire map or the current scene, right? There's certain things that you can make happen. For example, I'm like, you know, I, I, I really want to start, well, I should just jump into it so I can show you. Um, I'll explain how this works. Very, very simple, simple level uh, on this. So basically uh, this is, it says uh, event begin play. So basically when it starts, when I hit play on this, it says, okay, what are we going to do? So I put a delay. I said in 15 seconds, I want this thing to happen. And that thing is to play the audio that you're hearing. So uh, in the scene here, let's see if I can actually find where I left that audio. <laughs> it's no telling. Let's see, F6, let's see there and then F. Okay, so this little thing right here, this is the audio uh, the, for the actual, uh, the episode, right? I created this before even getting into Unreal Engine. It's called a radio play, essentially. Like you can close your eyes and listen to it, and it's the entire thing completely done in audio, but you can close your eyes and, and really visualize what's happening. And because I've created this ahead of time, all I'm doing is mimicking all of the motions that I'm hearing. Does that make sense? And it makes the, the, the process of filmmaking, especially for cartoons like this, so much faster. And since I'm doing this on my own, I don't have a team, I'm not passing off this off to anyone, you know, like this is the easiest way for me to stay organized. And you know, it's, it's, it's extremely important, especially when you're working on your own to be organized. Well, realistically, it's extremely important to be organized in general, especially, okay, forget it. It's, oh, just be organized when you do this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can forget really quick where stuff is if you're not very organized. It's crazy for somebody like me too. I have extreme ADHD. Uh, today I feel really great, so I, I feel like I can handle things. But for someone who has ADHD, I am extremely organized when it comes to work stuff because the dopamine likes it. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start this uh, from scratch because... Why not? I don't mind. I'd like to share out, like the whole point of, of doing this live stream thing is to maybe teach you something and to maybe inspire you to try something new. I'm even, I'm even gonna delete this. There, so now there's no sound in this. If I press play, there's not gonna be any sound, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's pretend I made my radio play and it's just, it's just a wave file, you know? Uh, bring that into Unreal Engine. So once you bring it in, you just, you know, create a, uh, an audio folder. So here's my audio folder, radio plays, and then you just drop that radio play in. Boom, okay, now it's in there, save your project. Once you have that radio play in, you just grab that radio play and simply drag it into the project. Boom, there you go. Just sit it on top of that rock. Now, with that radio play selected, I'm going to go to the level blueprint. So to find that level blueprint, again, it's just, you go to these little things right here, and then you see open level blueprint. Just go ahead and click on that. And then here we go, begin play. So again, uh, when this starts, my intention is to play the music, or play the, the uh, radio play 15 seconds after I start to play this game because I want enough time to prepare myself. I want enough time to be able to like react, you know, uh, and also to make sure everything is recording as it should. So uh, to do that, ensuring that this is selected, we're gonna call a reference to it. So we're basically saying, I want that thing right there to do something for us. So coming back into here, I'm gonna right click into this little open spot here. And then I'm just gonna go to create reference to silly crocodile, da, 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 da. You can see it's there, right? If you select multiple things, all of those things will show up because they're saying, oh, you want something to do with one of these things? It's kind of a nice little thing. Anyway, drag it in and then just click. And that's it. So it's created that. Uh, now that we have that, what I want to do is I want to say, wait, let's think about it. like, what are we gonna do with this? Like, what are we trying to do? We want it to play, right? So. 
simple as that. Like we can look for a function called play. Realistically, that's what, that's all it is for this one. So play. And it says right here, play audio component. I just click on that. And right there, we've, we've done this. Okay. Remember I was talking about, um, you know, keeping organized, uh, brain likes to be very, very organized. So we are going to make brain happy by just kind of moving these into uh, sort of a nice looking position. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to hit Q. Ah, brain likes that straight lines. I like straight lines. <laughs> and then now that those two are straight lines, I'm just going to drag this last one, bring it up and I'm going to connect it to the begin play and the lines already straight. Look how clean that is. Like we can see that, but wait a minute. If we hit compile now and we hit play, well, two things are going to happen. Uh, one, it's just going to start playing, but two, we don't, we don't really have any control over it once it starts playing, right? So what we need to do is add that delay. So after 15 seconds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the play and I'm going to select the other stuff and I'm just going to drag them over like this and in between off of begin play, I'm going to say, how would you, how would you think about it? Like, let's, before I put this in here, you've already seen, you've already, probably already seen it, but like, what would you call something if you want to hold and then let something go? It's, it's a delay, right? So we're just going to type in delay, delay. That's all it is. Boom. It's a float value, a float value, meaning like a, a float, like a number and a decimal point, whatever. And it's just calculating time. So the duration of this is going to be 15 seconds. So I'm simply going to put 15 there. Now it's connected the two. The line is nice and straight uh, and, and everything looks good there. So now we're going to go ahead, compile and save. And let's go ahead and play. There's going to be a problem here, but we're going to walk through this problem. Here we go. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile just woke up Where's from Where's this the sound coming from? That's not right. This is, we're not supposed to have sound. Of course, I knew that was, I knew that was going to happen. I said it. So what we're going to do is we're with this selected. Uh, when you first drop something into a scene, typically it, it means it wants to work already. So what we need to do is tell that specific thing that we've dropped in that we don't want it to work yet. That right now we just need it to like, shh. <laughs> so, shh. so um, when, what do you call something that is like when you start something like it has been activated. I'm just, I'm just saying these things like this to like help you out. So we can search activate or realistically, we can just go to the general tab over here on the right side. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay. I'm making sure. Uh, oh, actually, maybe, maybe not even general. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm gener general under, wait, let's just go all, sorry. We're going to scroll down until we see activation and my big old head's in the way. My big old fat head. Okay, see right there in the middle? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> being silly. Right here, so there's my activation. I want to make sure to turn off that auto activation so it doesn't automatically start playing. That way we have full control. Let me, okay, let me put my big old head back where it belongs. Back, back in its cage. <laughs> Don't move the whole thing. Come on. Come on, brain. I warn you, I'm going to be a little silly. I mean, this is, this is the silly crocodile. It's part of it, right? If we're not having fun, it's not worth it. Like everything, like I, I love this stuff so much because it is so much fun. And so like as while I create things, I try my best to, to have fun and, and do all of this. All right. So cool. Hey, chat, can you let me know everything is still good? It's been quiet over there in chat. I know I'm streaming and just creating things, but also I just want to ensure that everything is all good. And I'm not just like, you know, making stuff for, I mean, I'm not making stuff for nothing. It's still going somewhere, but. All right, while I'm waiting for chat, I'll continue to work through this. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and press play and we shouldn't hear anything, but let's wait for 15 seconds and we should be good. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile <laughs> just woke up nice. from a good night of sleep. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm not talking into a void. Thank you, Daniel Holt. <laughs> All right, 
Cool. Okay, so that's the basics of how we're gonna set that up. So now that we have that set up, basically what we gotta do here is we are doing a lot of pretending. Um, when I create this series, there's, there's, there's a couple ways to do this. Like first, like I could just build out the scene exactly how I want it and make sure everything works fine, right? But in this situation, like I wanna, I wanna add stuff a little bit afterwards so that I can think less. Does that make sense? Like this is this like this is a kid's cartoon. And we have to think very simple and we have to keep things entertaining but also fast. There's got to be like a, a little bit of speed to it cuz like we don't want to lose lose the kids attention. But if things go totally awry and we're not hitting the right marks, it gets a little hard, but also like I want to be able to have this done by the end of the week. It's currently Wednesday. I think it's when, yes, it's Wednesday. And I'd like to have this completely done and posted on the internet by Saturday. So what we're gonna do is, uh, first let's take a look at our area, nice and flat. Yesterday I painted this land to make it flat. If you've never seen that, by the way, like I'll just do this really quick, cause it's, I call it Bob Rossing. I'm gonna Bob Ross some things. So let's, um, let's Bob Ross just a, just a smidge. So I'm gonna to go to landscape up here. And if you've never seen this before, oh, this is like one of my favorite things about Unreal. Uh, you can go to here and basically, oh, let me select the landscape I want to change, which is this one. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna fly way up high really fast. Here is the whole world, right? This is what the entire world looks like. It's made up of a series of planes, planes being like big square flat objects that I'm essentially painting and manipulating uh, to look like they have mountains and then I can walk on them. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, six, one giant one, seven, right? So uh, originally the big giant one uh, was specifically for um, just background work uh, because I just wanted to have some nice little rolling hills. But in this situation, like all I need is a big, essentially a flat area that I can quickly do stuff on. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll show you some painting. Let's, let's do some quick painting, like say like right here, just, just to show you what this looks like because it's so cool. Uh, so not sculpt, sculpting, not painting. It's like painting. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna sculpt. Okay, so here, like for example, I'm oops, slow this camera down, it's a little fast. So like here, I'm like, okay, you know what? I really want like a little bit of a hill right here so that I can just basically do this. And see how that grows that hill? Automatically grows that hill and puts grass on it all of that stuff. And this is grass that I've put together. Some of it I built myself and some of this grass I got from uh, the Unreal Engine marketplace. So it's like a nice little mixture to make it uh, some, some really happy grass. I can uh, smooth it out like right there. That's, that's very unnatural looking. So I'm just gonna hit that smooth and just, just kind of smooth it out. Oh yeah, massage it down. It's kind of going down. Okay, okay, you know. I could, uh, if I wanted to put a lake, I could make some erosion. Uh, make, see that, see that circle's really, really big. Let's make, make that circle a little smaller so we don't have like this giant brush. There, maybe just like that big. And then watch this, I'm gonna put erosion. Let's increase the tool strength a little bit. Yeah, let's make it even more. It's very, very. Kind of hard to see, I bet, but you know, it's it basically eroded the soil down, not like evenly, but just kind of like a little bit on the sides and all that, whatever. But yeah, so that's that's essentially how I created uh, this world here. Here was was doing that, and then also like if I wanted to say, um, oh, actually, I want to do some water, you know, like real quick, I can I can just take some mud. So I can say either this is going to be grass or mud or it's nothing. In, in this scene, because of speed, I'm just doing grass and mud. So I'm, doing, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some mud right here. Ah, nice little mud. Mud, yeah. There we go. And now that we have that mud in there, I could go to here and then I've got some water. So this is um, like the trees and a couple of other things uh, are part of basically a couple different um, uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace assets, but I'm gonna do BP underscore lake. And this is my, my water here. Oh, no, that's just my lake manager, sorry. Is it under, uh, is it water? Yeah, there we go. We'll just do uh, cartoon ocean. Or no, BP cartoon lake, there we go. So basically what I could do is just bring this up like that. 
I'm going to increase the size of this. Just bring it down like that. See, and if I wanted to, I could just kind of create a little, a little thing there. And then I can control how the waves are and how the foam is on the side and all that. But okay, okay, we're getting off track here. But you, 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 you get the point. And I, and I guess the last thing I should probably show, which I can show later, but I'll show a little bit of now, is uh, how we do foliage. Foliage, uh, basically plants, trees, you know, all that sort of stuff. So like, I'm like, okay, I really want, I want to have some trees right here because there's not enough. It seems like a really dry area. Um, I could do basically the density, like how many trees are being put in, you know, like so I can paint right here and look, uh, automatically puts in trees. I didn't have to put those in and I have them randomized for the size and the rotation of the trees. So they feel a little more natural. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it, it's good. And then let's do like bushes. So basically instead of painting just trees, I'll deselect that. And now I'm going to go to the bushes and now it'll just paint bushes. Happy little bushes. I love this stuff, dude. This is so cool. But if I want to make like really intense forest where it's like, oh man, you can't even see. Like we can, we can go nuts. So like, for example, um, let's say, let's grab this spruce tree right here. <laughs> now let's do something wild. Like let's, t let's take the density all the way up to like three. Watch what happens. Wow. That's not really wild. That wasn't, but it still looks really cool. It's beautiful, right? So like we can instantly turn things into a forest. We can instantly turn things into just regular woods. Uh, we could we could do much more. If I wanted to say, you know what? I want like a really thick sort of like jungly looking place. Watch this. Let's do that really quickly. Let's let's break things, shall we? And then we'll get on track again. <laughs> so let's go instead of three for the density of the the, the plants. Let's do like, let's do like 12. Oh man, I'm going to break it. But you know what? I got to go. I have a good computer. So, okay. This is just going to be bushes. So don't worry. Now it's going to be very dense, like forest. Ready? Wait, that's not dense enough. We need, we need much more than that. Let's do a density of, let's see, paint density. Let's do full one and let's do a density of this stuff of like 30. Is that it? 30? That's it? Well, we're, we're getting there, right? Okay, so why is... Oh, oh, oh. Because I was still selected on the trees. Oh, let's see what would happen if we selected the trees now. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be so fun. Okay, I'm gonna, here's what's going to happen. Because I, I, was, I was selected on the wrong thing. The density of the trees is going to be such that when we go to put the trees here, it's going to make like one giant smashed up tree for us. Ready? <laughs> wow yeah cool like you can't even see between those trees there's so many trees whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> all right i know i'm messing around i'm messing around i love it though i love it i love it so much but yeah look at see look how cool though look look how neat this is you know so for with just simple things like this you you can you can do a lot all right so let's let's go let's get let's get back on track here where are we? We're, we're like right over here somewhere, right? Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and have a look at what we have created previously. Let's get out of this. I, that's, see, this is why I did everything away from camera because <laughs> I didn't want anything to go wrong. Yesterday I was live streaming and, and for some reason it wouldn't undo and I was like, oh, oh, and I hadn't saved and I was so like, like I was distressed for a minute, but I fixed it and it was all good. All right. So slow that camera down a little bit. Let's open up what I did yesterday and we're going to kind of pick it apart a little bit just so you can understand the process of what it is we are about to do as we create the next couple of shots. Uh, because once, once I actually get going on this, it's going it, to, it moves fast. Like the creation of this series is done pretty much in real time. Like it's, it's pretty cool. All right, no, we're not gonna save, right? Should we save? Sure, why not? I didn't change anything that's out of, now we're good. Sometimes when I play around, I tend to do things and, and forget that I've done them. Okay, here we go. So we're going back to cinematics. We're gonna go ahead now and open up the, um, hello, Taco Raptor. <laughs> 
saying hello to the chat. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go back to this. Let's get into the camera. So this is what the camera is going to see. And actually, let's get out. Well, let's, well no, no, we'll, we'll play. So what's going to happen here uh, is, well, first I should disconnect the uh, begin play. We don't want the audio to play right away. I'll explain why in just a moment. So I'll, I'll connect that later. But basically what we're going to do is we are going to simulate instead of just play. We're going to simulate. So there's all the grass. Da, da, da. And when I hit play on this bottom thing here, this is going to um, play, the, play the, the open. So let's play it and then we'll go back and we'll see more. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef and the Bang. silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. <sighs> What are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast? Yeah, that's a great idea. So off he went to find himself some breakfast. Okay, so let's let's have a look from a third person point of view rather than being inside of the camera so you can see what's actually happening and, and all of that. So I'm gonna move over here and we're going to now just stop simulating. And here's our camera. So. What I'm doing basically is saying, and forget that big old blue camera. <laughs> what we're gonna do here is, uh, so I call a function to the camera inside the blue, or inside the sequencer. The sequencer is so cool. So basically like you are giving instructions inside of the sequencer. It is the place where you go to tell things what to do. So first you say, hey, you. And in this case, you being the camera, hey camera. I want you to start here. So what I did was I created a transform keyframe. So basically transform is here is where you begin in space, scale, rotation, positioning of the world, right? So I put a little keyframe right down there. And then I wanted it to go from there a beautiful to there hitting the sign. Actually, this was a guy named Larry made a, I, I, it was my idea to hit the sign, but it was his idea to shake it. So we did some fun shakes. So thanks again, Larry, for that really great uh, uh, suggestion in chat yesterday. Um, it goes to here and then hits the sign. And so when it hits the sign, you can see the rotation of the camera. And then the sign itself is the same thing. I said, hey, you, sign. <laughs> Me being the one making the things down here. Um, I said, in this position, I want you to hold, hold this way until the timeline gets to this point. And then when the timeline gets to that point, I want you to be down, just to fall down. So that's, that's essentially all this is, is everything is just a series of keyframes. For those who have never seen how this stuff works, I, yeah. Yeah, no, no, Taco Raptor, the UE5 is super, super fun. And like, it seems complicated at first, but like once you understand the, the just the basics of it, like you can do so much with it. And it's just so much fun, man. I, I have tons and tons of fun. So yeah, let's keep watching from in this point of view. And the silly so boom, camera hits that. And then now we can see that the crocodile starts to come out. What are you gonna do? Obviously, we can't see the crocodile's face here because we're not s simulating. When we simulate, we can see all the features on the face. But yeah, and then camera moves in a little bit, just kind of give a little bit more life to the scene and da 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 da. So, I mean, essentially that's what we're doing is we're controlling everything in the scene. And even the bush, like even the bush itself has a little bit of motion to it. So uh, going back in, have just watch the bush that, that he comes out it's of. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef and the Bang. silly crocodile now watch this just bush woke here. up. See how the bush kind of like moves scene. a little bit? <sighs> what? That little bit of lifelike is what really just makes a little difference. So right here, this is the bush. And so, you know, it just kind of like gets a little bit longer, a little taller, rotates a little bit every time the crocodile moves and that's essentially what we're done. All right, so now it's time for us to uh, get into the actual um, play of it. This is, this is where the real fun begins. Actually, it's all fun, what am I talking about? This is, this is where the, the stuff happens. The more stuff. <laughs> Butchering. All right, so what we're gonna do, this is this little uh, icon right here, little controller, this is player start. So basically I'm gonna grab that player start now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move this player start closer to the middle somewhere, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and just move it over here. Yeah. 
because in that last scene, the silly crocodile just kind of like walks off, right? Um, so what we're gonna do first is we are just going to listen and, and mimic a little bit and just kind of just play because what we need to do is like imagine where everything is in 3D space. As we're, as we're playing this, like, like if you want to try this too, I know this is weird, but why not? If you hear the silly crocodile moving, just move your mouth with it and think about how the silly crocodile would move, right? But you've never heard this script before, so that probably doesn't make sense for you. But this is how my brain works, so this is what you're going to see. It's going to be, that's going to be a little odd. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play, but I've got to make sure to connect to the sound again. So the sound is now connected with a 15 second delay. Actually, just for this one, I'm going to... Oh no, I'll just leave the 15 seconds, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save, just because it's a good spot to save. And now we're gonna go ahead and play. We're not recording this take just yet. This is just me practicing to get this right. So I'm gonna take my phone, which is still um, uh, capturing my face. I'm just gonna move this over here, because I'm gonna be looking that way. And I got my PS4 controller here. And let's go ahead and start. Click on the screen. Pa, 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 pa. Eyes moving around. Is that? It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. <sighs> what are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast. Yeah, that's a great idea. So off he went to find himself some breakfast. In the wonderful woods of Abacadef, there were many great foods for the silly crocodile to eat. There were spicy banana mushrooms, salty pink apples, stinky polka dot peaches, something stuffed in a muffin, and lots of funny honey in case your nose gets runny. <laughs> but there were other foods too that weren't so healthy like chocolate bars, tomato chips, and fuzzy suckers. Mm. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I can eat everything! Whoa, 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 hang on silly crocodile. Before you start eating everything, you might want to think about what you're eating. Nah, I'm just gonna eat. Well, okay then. <laughs> just remember what I told you about unhealthy foods. Okay. <laughs> so then the silly crocodile started to eat. Aha! First he started with one salty pink apple. <laughs> I grew. <laughs> you did just grow. Healthy foods make you grow. Yeah. <laughs> ah, chocolate <definitely not>. bars. <laughs> then the silly crocodile tried unhealthy food. Mm. <laughs> eh? The chocolate bar he had tasted really sweet, but it didn't make him grow. Yeah. Hmm. So he tried something else. Ah! A spicy banana mushroom. These are very healthy to eat, but don't always taste the best. Mm. Uh, 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 <coughs> they're spicy. <laughs> the spicy food made his nose runny, so then he had some funny honey. Oh yeah, funny honey. <laughs> In case your nose is runny. Ah, this much better. And again he grew. Aha. Then he tried a stinky polka dot peach. <laughs> the smell wasn't the best, but he ate it anyway. Wow, that was delicious! <laughs> wow. <laughs> then suddenly he had an idea. <laughs> it's a great idea! I know what happens when the silly crocodile gets ideas. So right here, he's just like going through and he's eating everything. Um, 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 eating everything off the trees and he's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, 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 What's wrong, silly crocodile? You got what you wanted, but you don't look so good. Are you okay? I don't feel good. Eating healthy food is a good thing to do, but eating too much food can be unhealthy too. Uh, I'll be back. I got a party. And so the silly crocodile, who was once a giant crocodile, returned back to normal size after feeding all of the plants in the woods. <laughs> 
Sometimes our bodies take a long time to grow, but growing too fast can also make our bodies hurt. Yeah, we that. So the silly crocodile took his time growing and enjoyed being the little reptile he was. And he enjoyed it every bite of the way. The end. I'm gonna eat everything! <laughs> ah. And that's it, guys. I mean, that's essentially how things are made with this. I mean, but you saw that. I mean, it's, it is, it is, you know, pretty much recorded in real time. And like, that was, you know, I made, I made that radio play yesterday. And so I still have it fresh in my mind. So I'm just able to listen to that. And I know what it is that, that I'm supposed to do and how everything's going to be. So yeah, I wonder if UE, uh, I wonder if UE5 is compatible with uh, DualSense controller. I uh, don't know. I'm reading a chat now. I uh, don't know if uh, the resistive controls. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's support yet, but I'm sure there is a way. You know, I'm surely. Uh, good morning, Corey. Uh, is, your, uh, is this your marketplace asset? I saw it featured. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, Nicola, this is uh, my marketplace asset. It's Face 2D Live. Again, for those of you who uh, want to try it out, check it out. Uh, face 2D Live is right here. This is what you get when you come right in. The silly crocodile face, uh, all that. And actually, let me show you on the marketplace itself. So grab the uh, Unreal Launcher. I have to make sure, I have some, uh, some secret stuff that I can't show, so I'm making sure it doesn't show that. I got, I got some big projects I'm working on that I'm under NDAs. So anyway, yeah, if you go to the marketplace right now, I don't know how long it's still gonna be going, but like if you go to the marketplace right now and go to showcase, sometimes you'll see it on the front page uh, uh, of the marketplace, but there I am right there. It's Face 2D Live. So if you don't find it, it is there, but you can see it's the silly crocodile mouth and you know all of that. And it's essentially what you just saw me do. Uh, and you can change out your own faces. You can, uh, you, you can do a lot of, uh, of really cool stuff and you can even do multiplayer. So like, you know, I did this, this with my daughter, Chell, and, and she loved it a lot. So like, here's i um, I'll show you that cause, cause why not? So pull up the YouTube channel. Bring it over. over for Hi, you. I'm Corey Williams from Daydream Studios and the creator of Face 2D Live. And this is a demonstration on how this works. It's a lot of fun. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5.1 and my phone is connected to the engine. So here we go. Now I am a talking 2D face this part and this seen. face can be applied to anything in the scene. So literally, uh, this is a blueprint that you could maybe uh, put on a tree or maybe a, a third person character that you're actually running around with and playing with. Maybe it's a talking cloud or a talking rock or some apples, it, who knows? Your computer Here's me and, my and control that other face as well. Wait, so so he, he pooped in the bath? Yeah. Ew. Uh, why, why, why did he do that? It's my daughter, Chell. Why, why are you laughing? What's poop in the bathtub? That's, that's, that's where you're supposed to wash yourself, not where you're supposed to poop. You're supposed to poop in the potty. What? But what's nice about this is I, we're not using PlayStation controllers for this, for the eyes. We're actually just using the, the eye tracking. So like my, my plugin is able to actually do eye tracking and, and do all of that. But anyway, I, I'm, not, I'm not here to necessarily sell this. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm here just to kind of like share what it is I'm doing and, and all that, but I, I thought I'd share. So, hey, let's throw, let's throw some, some music back on, I think, maybe. Oh, no, no, no we'll, we'll throw some music on later. Let's, let's continue to record. If you guys have any questions uh, about anything, by, by the way, like just feel free to ask in chat. Um, so yeah, let's go. So let's go. Um, I, I feel like my performance, this last one was decent. I think there were a couple of things in the performance that I could have done better, meaning like, you know, mouth movements and, 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 and controls, like some of the controls were a little jerky. But what's really nice about this series, again, is it's made for kids and it's called the Silly Crocodile. And silly crocodiles do silly things and that means they're a little imperfect in the way that they walk and the way that they talk and, 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 I, and I lean into that so that I can, you know, not get so obsessive over uh, how nice something looks. Because like, yeah, I mean, I, I could make a, a realistic looking environment like I did like, you know, even He-Man, Every, everything I do, like all of the, the stuff that I've done has been like not to 100% quality. I always kind of aim for about 70% because YouTube. <laughs> like, you know, everybody's watching on a smartphone for the most part. 
and, and then so I don't, I don't put in a whole lot of time. I could make something look like Pixar if I wanted to. Or maybe not quite Pixar, but like if I wanted something to look crazy good, I could if I took the time to just stop and do it. But that's not me. But I could. Anyway, so let's, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to open up first uh, our cinematics. We're going to grab the take recorder. And take recorder, we are going to now have to, um, yeah. Uh, so question, uh, Corey, is Face 2D Live available on Android? I wish it was, but unfortunately it's not. Android doesn't have the capability to control ARKit, and ARKit is the one thing that is used to really control things beautifully. There are new ways coming to be able to uh, utilize this, and, and I hope to use the, uh, the new MetaHuman stuff uh, the way that they do tracking with camera uh, to, to be able to do that so I can open up to Android. But uh, until that uh, really comes through and I, I put all that together, I, I don't have that just yet, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But soon. It's got, it's got to happen soon. I'm really surprised that Android hasn't had their own version of Apple AR Kit. I mean, it's really shocking. But, you know, so this is where we're at. This is what we're doing. Okay, so in order now to get our character to be recorded, notice the character is not in the scene. I can't just select the player start. Uh, what I have to do is I'm going to go ahead and press play. And there he is there. If I click on him right now, I'm going to get stuck in the, the editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get push source over here on this side. And then uh, from actor and then right here it's yellow. I could just click on him. And then I'm just going to go here, selecting the actor, and I'm going to say, I want this project to be It's a beautiful day in Abacadet, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of and sleep. And... Ah. What are Actually, you going to do today? Okay. So now that he is selected, he's in there. So now I can start setting the stuff that I need. So um, his face shapes, uh, I have other face shapes in here that you don't see because I'm essentially stopping them from being called because the silly crocodile doesn't typically go, typically go ooh, he just goes, yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. You know, so like I don't have that ooh. Uh, so I'm going to stop the ooh and the woo, and I'll leave the rest of it. Yeah, and then also I'm going to make sure too that I match the frame rate. So basically, like when he moves, it's making a keyframe for every type of movement he does. And I want those keyframes to match up with my project. And my project is 30 FPS frames per second. So I'm gonna change it to 30 instead of 24. And last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to name this take. So this is gonna be um, uh, silly, oops, silly underscore F6. And then this would be, because I've already done a take one, I'll just call this take three. This is fine. It's gonna put it on a new day, but you'll, you'll see. Uh, real quick, before I get into this, I, I see some more questions coming in. Uh, photorealism is great and all, but stylized renders have a way of uh, dating like fine wine if done right. This is the reason I like games like, uh, like Okami got. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right, uh, Ben, is like, you know, stylized stuff can last last a lot longer because like realistic stuff like stuff that's you know more realism like it's it's tough to to, to keep it relevant looking like after a while like rem okay remember when um remember when star wars came out with cg stuff rather than just using practical effects like when that first came out for those of you who are old enough to see that um crazy that time's flown that much to say that but anyway when the when that those first uh, uh, new episodes came out it's like they looked really good because in the time that's what there was but now you look back at it and it's just like that's a little rough you know <laughs> and so they I, I think they've had to remaster them a little bit or something i i can't remember but you know it's it's tough and even like avatar like the the first avatar it still looks pretty good it's it's holding up very well but like we know that like in, oh gosh, a couple of years probably, it's gonna be tough. Like the new Avatar looks fantastic. Like that is the latest technology and it looks fantastic. But like, I just, I know that we're gonna look back and eventually and go, oh, that's, uh, that's weird. <laughs> Things are gonna be indiscernible. Um, 
Let's see. I think the challenge with getting a good AR is amount of different Android cameras compared to the new way. Sorry. I think the challenge with getting good AR is the amount of different Android cameras in comparison to Apple's few iOS devices. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's really tough, Daniel. Um, but at some point, at some point, I think it's, it's not going to rely on LiDAR. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to rely. I think it's going to be like AI having to do a lot of heavy lifting with video and the way that we're going to do it. So like, I mean, realistically, there's already video that, you know, you can just run video and it changes the face shapes, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I remember when Final Fantasy Spirits Within was considered the most realistic looking film ever. And now it's subpar to a PS4 game. Dude, exactly. Exactly. I loved that movie. I bought that and I, I remember just looking at that. My jaw hit the floor. But we were looking at it in 480p. You know, we were looking at it on low resolution and that's all it took, you know, to look good. And now, yeah, you're right. I mean, it, like I could create something that looks better than that. And, and that's just... But, 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 but I have to say though, it still looks good. It still has a stylized nature to it, you know, which, which helps it maintain. But yeah, phew, crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and get some recording done. I expect that uh, for this first third take <laughs> for this, um, I'm going to make a couple of mistakes. The beauty of this uh, using Take Recorder is I can make mistakes. Like I can just mess up and go back later and just do it again like fix it later which is so nice that's one of the greatest things about working on real engine um so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna make sure that our audio is set up properly there it is right there it's connected i got 15 second delay i think that's more than enough time uh to get the stuff that i need um i'm just gonna walk around and pretend to eat things and later on throw those things into the crocodile's mouth uh because it's gonna make it it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier later and again, we're not shooting for realism. We're shooting for entertaining. This is for kids. So let's do the thing. Make sure phone is good. Battery is good. We're recording on all sides. Controller has blue. We're good. Okay, here we go. And play and recording. Three, two. I won't be able to look at the chat. Uh, get him into position. I'll just chill here. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. Ah. What are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast? Yeah, that's a great idea. So off he went to find himself some breakfast. In the wonderful woods of Abacadef, there were many great foods for the silly crocodile to eat. There were spicy banana mushrooms, salty pink apples, stinky polka dot peaches, something stuffed in a muffin, and lots of funny honey in case your nose gets runny. <laughs> but there were other foods too that weren't so healthy like chocolate bars, tomato chips, and fuzzy suckers. Mm. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I can eat everything! Whoa, 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 hang on silly crocodile. Before you start eating everything, you might want to think about what you're eating. Nah, I'm just gonna eat. Well, okay then. <laughs> just remember what I told you about unhealthy foods. Okay. <laughs> so then the silly crocodile started to eat. Aha! First he started with one salty pink apple. I <laughs> grew. <laughs> you did just grow. Healthy foods make you grow. Okay, being honest, wasn't quite uh, in love with my performance on that one, and that's okay. Like we can just keep going over it and over it and over and it over it. But I feel like um, a lot of it was just mentally. I've got to get myself deeper into the character. <laughs> keep it simple, but be a silly crocodile. All right, so I got to get myself into this. Oh. This is what I do. This is wake up the body. Hey, body, body. Do this to yourself and you'll wake up. I guarantee it. It's not that I'm sleeping. Yes, uh, Jade Arcade, this will be available to watch later, this recording. Okay. Uh, 
I'm good. Yeah, I'm the silly crocodile. I could do this. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Eh, uh, we're gonna call him Plainer. <laughs> uh, play. Ah. Da-da-da. It's a beautiful day in Abacadet, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. Ah. What are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast. Yeah, that's a great idea. So off he went to find himself some breakfast. In the wonderful woods of Abacadef, there were many great foods for the silly crocodile to eat. There were spicy banana mushrooms, salty pink apples, stinky polka dot peaches, something stuffed in a muffin, and lots of funny honey in case your nose gets runny. <laughs> but there were other foods too that weren't so healthy like chocolate bars, tomato chips, and fuzzy suckers. Mm. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I can eat everything! Whoa, 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 hang on, silly crocodile. Before you start eating everything, you might want to think about what you're eating. Nah, I'm just gonna eat. Well, okay then. <laughs> just remember what I told you about unhealthy foods. Okay. <laughs> so then the silly crocodile started to eat. Aha! First he started with one salty pink apple. I <laughs> grew. You did just grow. Healthy foods make you grow. Yeah. Ah, chocolate bars. Then the silly crocodile tried unhealthy food. <laughs> the chocolate bar he had tasted really sweet, but it didn't make him grow. So he tried something else. Ah! A spicy banana mushroom. These are very healthy to eat, but don't always taste the best. Mm. Uh, 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 <coughs> that's spicy. <laughs> the spicy food made his nose runny, so then he had some funny honey. Oh uh, yeah, funny honey. <laughs> In case your nose is runny. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's much better. And again he grew. Uh -huh. Then he tried a stinky polka dot peach. <laughs> the smell wasn't the best, but he ate it anyway. Wow, that was delicious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> then suddenly he had an idea. <laughs> it's a great idea. I know what happens when the silly crocodile gets ideas. Yum, yum, yum. Silly crocodile, big crocodile now. Oh, what's wrong, silly crocodile? You got what you wanted, but you don't look so good. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't feel good. Eating healthy food is a good thing to do, but eating too much food can be unhealthy too. Uh, I'll be back. I got go party. And so the silly crocodile, who was once a giant crocodile, returned back to normal size after feeding all of the plants in the woods. Hey, how about it? Sometimes our bodies take a long time to grow. But growing too fast can also make our bodies hurt. Yeah, real bad. So the silly crocodile took his time growing and enjoyed being the little reptile he was. And he enjoyed it every bite of the way. The end. I'm gonna eat everything! <laughs> ah. All right. There we go, guys. I think it just did it. I think that was, I think that was good. In fact, I don't, okay. No, I can't use it, dang. I was gonna say like, maybe I could even use the audio that I recorded right here for the actual audio of that. But no, I'll just, I'll just re-record it. Cause I can do all, I can change my voice and do all that. <laughs> Dude, Corey is a voice changer. Yeah, I can go like this in a big way. You know? <laughs> Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay.
That's, that's, I'm happy with that. So now that we've got that, there's a question here. Do I do it as just like one take? Like, you know, just like the camera just moves and does all of its stuff all in one take. It's faster. It's easier. Potentially, there might be some things. Oh, uh, no, the, we'll, we'll have some cutaways, actually, because we could we, we, we could cut away to like, you know, the stinky polka dot peach and, the, you know, the fuzzy suckers and the, you know, whatever, all the stuff that's in there. I think I think I'm just going to do this one take for the the crocodiles part. But also there's the growing aspect, like I want the crocodile to grow really, really big. You know, which we can easily do. I need to make sure that's going to look good as well. Because <laughs> if, if, if growing the crocodile is going to look odd, then I think what I might have to do is rather than growing the crocodile before, I could, I could, I could cut away later. Uh, Jake's Great Adventures, you're asking me about the scary bunny uh, costume I used to have a long time ago. You know, I, I just gave it to my friend Blake. I've had it for all these, year, all these years, but I gave it to my friend Blake because he's like, he, man, he rocks that thing. <laughs> all right, so yeah, let's go ahead now and open up that brand new level sequence we just created using Take Recorder. So I'm just, I don't need Take Recorder anymore. I'm happy with what I, what I got there. And let's go ahead and navigate to that. It's gonna be over here in Cinematics. Takes, and we'll go to today's date, which is the 12th. And we'll go ahead and open up episode three, right there. Or episode six, three. Okay, so um, we've gotta do a couple things here. Um, should I take my ear out there? It's starting to hurt. Um, I'm gonna unlock this scene so I can be able to change it. So hit the unlock. Um, I'm going to add a camera. So right here, you can just click this little icon here and add a camera. And this camera, I like to keep it always at 24 millimeters for the crocodiles. Like for, for humans, I try to do no less than 70 millimeters because it makes a nice square jaw unless you're trying to go for like a specific time, uh, type of look or you want like some other action-y stuff. Uh, but for this, again, it's, it's 24. Um, for aperture, that means like what's the depth of field on this? Like do we want everything kind of like out of focus in the background and it's just really precise or do we want everything in focus? Typically with uh, the project like this, I think everything a little more in focus makes a lot more sense. Um, because I don't, I'm not, I don't really care so much about like focusing the audience's eye on that one little thing. I want the kids to be able to get lost in the forest. I want them to be able to watch it and feel like they can have their own little stories. Because when I was a kid and I would watch stuff, I'm going to turn off my phone now before it runs out of battery. Um, when I was a kid, I, I loved to like get lost in stuff like, oh, there's a butterfly back there. That's the ADHD talking, but still like, I want to chase the butterfly, you know? So I'm, I'm going to put some butterflies out there. I put the butterflies for those kids like me who had ADHD. All righty then. Let's go to, uh, yes. Okay. We're back at the camera. So let's take this camera and find our crocodile, which is over here. And we'll just, just for now, we'll set it up right there. We'll say a 90 degree rotation over there. You can see that. Okay, cool. And then we'll just kind of just move it over just for now. Uh, we'll grab the crocodile too. And then, so there's a couple of things. Um, I'll, you know what? I'll quickly explain. I know I explained this yesterday. I'm going to save everything while I'm here, by the way, just to, you know, make sure it's there. Um, I'll show you quickly how uh, uh, Face 2D Live works. Um, and how it's able to uh, control the face shapes. You got any tips on how to start animating like this? Uh, Jake's Great Adventures. Watch stuff like this. I mean, really, like this is, I'm, the reason I'm doing this is, is to, you know, give you some tips uh, to inspire you to try it and, and, and just, uh, well, I'm also here because I, I want to hang out with people. I'm a, I'm a social, I'm a social person. This is the closest I feel like you guys are here. All right, so um, yes, let's go ahead and get into the blueprint so you can see it before we start animating that. So here's the silly crocodile. 
and what he looks like. So essentially the crocodile just looks like that. He's got eyelids and about five or six different mouth shapes enabled right now, right? On each side, they share the mouth shapes. Kind of creepy from the inside, right? Uh, and then he's got several different parts. He's got a body. He's got a tail with, with its own physics. He's got a head and he's got pupils to be able to move around. So basically what I'm doing here, and I do not expect anybody to understand anything about what I'm about to say right now, but maybe you'll get something out of it. <laughs> so, okay, remember how we opened up the, uh, the level blueprint? Where is it at? The level blueprint is right here. Remember we said when the game starts to play, we're gonna wait 15 seconds and then we're gonna play the audio. Well, we can do that on the character level as well, that it only affects the character rather than, rather than the entire world. It contains the code. So here's our blueprint for the silly crocodile. So when it starts, I want it to ask a true or false statement. Uh, is it true that this is recording right now? If it is recording, so like is recording, it's a little Boolean. So right here, uh, like when I have him clicked, see right here on the, no, you can't, sorry, fathead. Um, right here, there's a little button. That's a button that I created to be able to, to ask myself, am I recording this right now? Right now, I'm, it says I am, but really I'm not. But well, confusing, I, I know, I know. We'll get into it in a minute. Um, so basically, if it is recording, then it's time to start mapping the controls, uh, the face stuff, and, and, and all of that. And then that's kind of what that's doing. So that's basically giving me control of the character. Uh, if it is not recording, then it says to simulate, uh, simulate the tail physics, but don't do collision. So it's able to like do all of that sort of stuff. But that's it. It's not giving me any control and it's not looking for a controller. And if it was, it would give me an error. So then now let's go to event tick. Again, don't expect you guys to really understand any of this, but. I, I feel like I, well, I should explain it for you. Event tick is like, like every second, like every, every moment in, in time. The, the, the engine is checking and updating something, right? And so what's happening is, again, are we recording? If this is true, then here's a whole list of things that I want to happen. If it is not, then nothing changes, right? So right now, default, is it recording? Yes, it is because we were recording with it. So let's see what happens when it's recording. First thing it does is it goes into blink control. We have the same thing for uh, a Boolean here for blink and blink is basically saying like, uh, well, obviously is my phone recording the fact that my eyes are blinking? If it is true, then we are going to, um, I see if it is true, we are blinking then we are going to make sure to show the eyelids because when you're blinking, your eyelids are there. But if we are not blinking, we are going to hide the eyelids, right? And then regardless of true or false out of this, we go into the next Boolean, not talking. So right here, it says not talking. We have the option of being able to hold down control and stop talking. So check this out. I'm gonna have a conversation with the silly crocodile right now. Go ahead and save this. Let me get to a position where I can, actually, I'll just close that part out. This is fun. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, close my phone. So I'm going to, I'm going to literally make a, have a conversation with the silly crocodile in real time. Get this over here. Hey, silly crocodile. It's a beautiful day in Abacadet and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. Wait a minute. That's going to, that's going to kill my, my creative brain. Okay, so I just disconnected the audio so we don't have to hear the audio. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down a button, which is just control. Hey, silly crocodile. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm just, um, just looking around outside. Is it a, is it a, is it, oh, <laughs> missed. <laughs> is it a nice day? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I love days like this. It's the best. 
Well, you should probably watch where you're going. You might run into a tree. Nah, I won't run into a tree. There are no trees. Oh, that's right, because I didn't put any trees there. Nope. <laughs> so, see, I'm able to, like, actually puppet this thing in real time and, like, talk back and forth with it. So that's why I did that. Um, and I do this for, like, kids' classrooms. Like, um, when I'm calling in to be, like, you know, teaching kids about animation or teaching kids about whatever it is, kids will listen to puppets. Kids will listen to cartoons, sometimes more than they will listen to our teacher's or adults or whatever. And so like, there's things that you can teach kids with cartoons that, yeah, you wouldn't be able to, uh, to do otherwise. All right, so yeah, there's that. Uh, also have a blink ra randomizer. This is really, really nice. Uh, and if, you, if anybody uh, knows how, knows code, like feel free to copy what you're seeing on the screen. I'm, it doesn't bother me. Um, basically what this does is like, if a silly crocodile is in the background of a scene, and I'm not controlling the crocodile, I can put a blink rad randomizer that gives them life, you know, makes them like blink on their own so it feels like they're still there and they're still a part of things. Um, and then gaze input, uh, this is basically saying, okay, um, the controller, like if I'm going up, down, right, left, which, what relative position are the, the pupils? So basically like, the pupils on X value, which is uh, going to be the left and right axis and Y value, which is the up and down axis for the pupils because of the way it's all kind of set. Um, I put a limiter. So like basically like I say um, the zero position of a pupil looking forward, it's zero. But if I look this way, then it'll be like plus one on the X axis. If I look the other way, it's minus one on the X axis. And same thing with up and down. So that's how this all works. And so like I put a range. So plus one, minus one, da 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 da. And then I call the pupils and that's how I change the relative location. Oh, and then remember the talking don't, the talk and don't talk right here. If I hold down left control or on the game pad, I guess I, I forgot to do the left trigger back there. Um, basically I can stop the talking. So there's that. Okay, so the mouth stuff, there's movement and all this other stuff. So here is where the, the magic happens with how the mouth is able to move using face 2D life. Head up, head down, pupil control. Um, hang on, get to my, uh, where's my AR face? Yeah, Visims. Okay, so here, so I've created this, it's under Visims. So basically what happens is I've created a function and this specific function happens right here during the face control if it's talking. Um, brain is basically saying, okay, start, uh, I want, when it begins, I want it to look for live link face, which is basically saying, I want it to look for my phone. And then my phone is gonna spit out a whole bunch of different values. And I want those values to be uh, uh, um, tracked, right, using Live link face. And this is this is how I select my phone. So like right down here, live link face, SMP films, that's my phone name. And then I separate basically the names. I'm like, okay, I want the names to look like this, and I want the properties, like the, the actual numbers. Like, so remember a, a here's a zero, a smile at zero. Here's a smile at one. A smile at 0.5 would be like. So, you know, like it's kind of like that. So everything is kind of tracked in that. One is at the max and zero is the lowest. And so I go through and I do a sequence of things and I hide and unhide face meshes depending on the value of what the face shapes are at. And then I make sure that a lot of them hide. I'm not gonna get too close to it because there's just a lot here, but I do the same thing with like blinks, how to hide them and how I'll do, you know, do all that. So, you know, like for example, the blink as you can see here, when it comes in, it says, okay, if blink is more than 0.3, then blink is true. And then blink is set and that's how the eyelids close. So, because like if I'm squinting, it's not a blink, it's a squint, but technically, the phone will think that, oh wait, I'm getting a value of blinking because this is blink all the way, but this is 0.3 or this is 0.5, whatever. Makes sense, I don't know. And then, and then long story short, like if, yeah, the, yeah, I'm not gonna go much more for, farther than <laughs> It's like, I could explain, but it's, I feel like I, I, it's, just, it's just a lot. 
All right. Anyway, let's save that. Let's get back to let's get back to business. <laughs> Stuff's so much fun. Uh, question from Jake: uh, Where did I get the silly uh, crocodile or the idea for silly crocodile? Oh yeah, let me show you that really quick. Actually, uh, here we hang on. Um, and my water hydration needs the hydration. Hang on. So here. Raise this up a bit. So here's the silly crocodile. Uh, basically, when I play with the silly crocodile, I want it to be played with like like a child's toy. So we have a toy that's somewhat similar. It was like a a, a crocodile puzzle piece that like it, it's uh, it was similar but not the same to this. So I created my own thing based on the is inspired by that, but like on its on on a whole different level, right? So what I wanted was to be able to move like this, like a child would hold it. So my, me and the kids would play with it like this. So when you see the silly crocodile move in the show, that's what he's doing. He's just walking like a child would play, right? You know, and I wanted, um, I wanted something that kids could easily um, pick up and just start playing with themselves without having to spend a whole lot of money. Like I, I, I really was thinking about kids who like maybe their parents don't play with them that much, but they have huge imaginations. I just wanted to give them like a new way to be able to create without, without, without having to, to buy it. I, I don't know if that makes sense. It's a, but it's, it's for lower income kids or lower income families. It's, it's for kids that just, just to open their imaginations. Like sometimes even like, you know, I don't have any toys on my desk, surprisingly. Well, now I do. <laughs> but, you know, like even toys that have a lot of functions that work for you, like robots and, and, uh, and, and other things that, that talk and, and move and da-da-da. Like I feel like those are still cool, but like they, they almost take away a bit of the, the magic of imagination for kids. Because it's like it, 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 it limits what they could potentially do with them. It's kind of a blessing when batteries die out, right? Because then they can just tell st whatever story they want. Um, and, and, and yeah, so I don't know. That's, yeah. Uh, is this uh, an office you rented? Yes. So this office, uh, I work in downtown Tulsa uh, in, a, in a building. I'm on the 15th floor, so I get to like see out over the city, which is super sweet. But, but here I am in the corner of this giant office I have. <laughs> <laughs> staring at a screen, creating virtual worlds. But no, I have this big office because I do um, like motion capture stuff as well. Um, and so like I need a lot of space for motion capture. All right, anyway, let's, okay, back on track, back on track. So um, let's go ahead and, and reopen that, uh, that sequence. So here we are, cool. Let's get uh, the camera back into position. Now, what's gonna happen here is when I go to simulate, We've got a couple of problems, don't we? We've got a face that is moving and what's wrong with our tail? Ah! So what we need to do is we need to say, I don't, I'm not, I'm not recording right now, right? So that was that, um, that little Boolean that I made. So I'm gonna click on that crocodile and down on the bottom right. Oh, shoot, sorry, I forgot. Big head, big head was in the way again. Let me just play that again so you can see. Ah, so look at the tail. See how the tail's all getting all crazy? Up there. It's all bendy and then my face pa, 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 is still being tracked. We're gonna go ahead and stop that. So I'm gonna click on the crocodile and then right over here it says, is recording? No, we're not recording this time. So now when I click on that, it's gonna look weird for just a moment, but when I play again, pa, 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 check it out. It's not recording. But we are having one issue with the M shape and I must have clicked on something by accident or didn't click on something by accident. But we're gonna fix that and that's, that's okay. Oh, what a pain. That's unfortunate. Okay. So what happens when you have a lot of spinning wheels and you're uh, live streaming? Normal, totally okay and fixable. All right, and also we need to fix the tail because as we can see, the tail is, come on. 
Oh, now the tail's, oh, because I'm not recording and it automatically fixed the tail. Go figure. Oh yeah, because I, I set that in here, didn't I? Silly brain. Well, anyway, we're gonna do some stuff too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to first fix that mouth because I'm not sure. Here we have all the mouth shapes, as you can see. And it looks like, oh, it didn't even track the M. I must have, tr oh, you know, I, I, I unselected the M when I was doing the uh, take recorder stuff. Bummer. Okay, well, it looks like there's gonna be some missing face shapes, but that's totally okay. So what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna hide this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select track with the uh, mouth M shape left left side of the crocodile, go to track, and then I'm gonna to go to uh, hide, uh, hidden in game. And then I'll just click it off. There we go. Go to the front of the scene here, and then I'm gonna create a keyframe, because later on, I'm gonna to want to re-enable it, because there's some parts where he doesn't feel good, remember? And his, he's, he's, hmm, he's like that. Hmm. Uh, so same thing with the right side as well. And we're just gonna copy and paste um, all of that later on. <clears throat> oh, hey, let's put some music on. Because now I'm not going to be like listening. Oh, wait, I am for just a moment. So maybe not, maybe not just yet. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's, let's go now. Uh, same thing with the right side of the M. Because the M is on both sides of that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and keyframe. Cool. So now when we go to play, you can see that... Yeah, so now that M face is not plugged in there. And he's talking as he's, he should, and he's moving on his own. Yep, beautiful. Let's ensure that his tail is moving as well properly, yes. All of the motion has been recorded into the tail. Great. We're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, cool. And now let's go back and just to, this is something I like to do just to be safe with the tail because sometimes there can be like weird little uh, glitches with Unreal. I'm going to force it to not have physics. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So basically with the tail selected in this, I'm just gonna go up to this little keyframe on the, yeah, you can see that. Little keyframe on the right side. And I'm gonna say no physics. Physics have already been recorded, don't even try it. And then I'm also going to say collisions. I don't want it to collide with anything. I want it to just be. <laughs> so, because sometimes it can collide with itself and cause all sorts of weird problems. So what I'm going to do now is scroll down, move my fat head. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to here, collision presets. And then just below it, there's a little keyframe ability. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that there. That creates a new keyframe down here. And I'm gonna change that from three to one, which means query only. So it's only, it's basically saying no collision. I just wanna know if it's moving because in some cases I might need to do something with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my fat head back over here. All right, uh, that's pretty much it for that for now. I don't have to do too much. So I'm gonna go back to the main sequence and I'm gonna get rid of this. So we want the main camera, which is this one, to not be on the crocodile. Because the crocodile himself, he's got like a big camera, see that? That's, weirdly enough, that's like the main camera that I use to watch as I'm playing. And so I don't want to use that camera, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. And I'm gonna now say, I want this camera. Oh, let's, let's name that. Um, silly eating underscore cam. That way, if I find it somewhere, I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah there's the, the camera for that thing. All right, so silly eating underscore cam. Cool. Now that we've got that, all right, I'm gonna move kind of fast at this point, guys. So, um, uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some music once I get the, the audio lined up right with the silly crocodile, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go so fast. Uh, and I probably won't be explaining a whole lot unless I see a question that, that somebody has that uh, um, I can help to answer if anybody's got any questions about anything. All right, so here we go. All the way back to the beginning here. Uh, we are already in here. Let's now bring in that audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to track. I'm gonna say track uh, or, or uh, audio track. So I want audio for this. 
And then the audio is going to be episode six. So I'm going to say ep six, and there it is. Um, to calibrate when this actually starts, I actually, you probably didn't notice it, but I do, I do a thing to help me calibrate. Um, and Ab that is move the eyes very quickly. Abacadabra. And okay. the silly crocodile so, just woke up from a good night of sleep. Uh, as soon as the eyes, today, I'm going to put the eyes back to zero uh, position. I'm going to get some breakfast. Eat breakfast. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then when so the eyes off move. He went to find himself some breakfast. Wait. In the wonderful day in Abacadef, and, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. Uh, what are you going to do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm going to get some breakfast. Oh, maybe that was it. Uh, I'm going to get some Okay, so right there, that is where the radio play begins, somewhere in that vicinity. So let's let's double check that and make sure. It's a beautiful day in Abacadef, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. What are you gonna do today, silly crocodile? Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Eat breakfast. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that did it. So that's that's how I align stuff very quickly. Is I I mentally think about like okay, I'm gonna make one big solid noticeable action, and that's how I know where the beginning of the music starts for the radio play. So now I don't have any more it, uh, lining up to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop simulating. Put this to there. That's the very beginning of the radio play. Yeah, that is. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this little bracket here. And that bracket basically says, this is the beginning of the radio play. Now let's play some music. You guys like some lo-fi? Play some lo-fi. Play something new. I don't know if you guys can really hear that lo-fi very much, but... Let's do a different one. Something chill. All right, get a little stretch in. This is where the work comes. All right. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to ask and I can kind of pause and answer them for you. It's a... Lower the audio so I can listen to music. Visualizing the previous shot. Okay, starting keyframe for this new scene is going to be here.
wonderful woods about it for them. There were many great foods for the silly crocodile to eat. There were spicy banana mushrooms, salty peach apple. There were spicy banana mushrooms, salty peach apples. Many great foods for the silly crocodile. There were other foods too that weren't so healthy, like chocolate bars, tomato chips, and fuzzy suckers. Okay, I got one spot here. Okay, so. Real quick, uh, I, I'm gonna answer this question. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna edit one of these face shapes, which is really nice. Um, <clears throat> hey, Corey, uh, not a question related to Silly Crocodile. I watched your video on 3D scanning and 3D presso this morning. Would you mind telling me what light tint uh, you are using? Uh, oh, I wish I could show you. Uh, it's, it's just like a, um, I'll run over there and I'll tell you the name of it very quickly. BRB. Bought that on Amazon, so yeah, it's got stuff. It was uh, it was fairly cheap, but it works really, really great. All right, so here we are. Let's see. I see you're using Unreal Engine. Uh, what brought you to that software over Unity? My husband is a big fan of Unreal Engine, but I'm curious your take. Okay, so I actually started on Unity. Um, I started on Unity in 2019. 2018 or 2019, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, so um, I started out just creating basic experiences and games and all sorts of stuff. And then I got into VR and, and um, uh, ArcViz and all that sort of stuff. And then I did a little bit of AR as well. And then, uh, after creating an entire virtual set in, in, in VR with Silly Crocodile, I was like, I wanna do more, I wanna do bigger stuff. And so like when COVID hit, I decided to take like, you know, pretty much most of my savings <laughs> and invested into learning Unreal Engine full-time and, and, and buying all of the stuff uh, to, to, to learn quickly. Um, so I spent, I spent a good amount of, of money early on when things were more expensive to, to learn this stuff. But now things are cheaper and I'm trying to teach people the cheap ways. But yeah, no, it's been it's been a, a great journey and, and like the you know the money that I've spent on that has come back tenfold, like for real, with all the different jobs and stuff that I've done and um, it's been cool. Like YouTube YouTube is it hasn't actually not been my 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 main income for the first time in my in the last eighteen years. <laughs> Realistically, because I've been on YouTube for eighteen years. All right, okay, back here. Um, so basically right here, uh, let's watch this for just a moment. I'm gonna show you something. 
I'm too hungry. I can eat everything. Right there, he says, mmm. And then he opens his mouth. So I don't like that part. Oh, wait, let's go there. There we go. I want him to say, mmm. And right there is when he says, mmm. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to delete the keyframes that are changing the mouth from this point in time. Yeah, I'm going to delete all of those, making sure those are all the keyframes. Ah, there's one more. I knew there was one more. These are just the keyframes changing the mouth shapes. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I don't want him smiling anymore. So basically, I'm going to uh, hide the smile and I'm going to enable the mmm. Oh, wait, but the mmm would still be a smile and not the other face. Okay, you know what? No, we're just going to do this. And then right here is when he opens his mouth. <laughs> so we'll go to right here. Get rid of those two things there. And then I'm going to go hide the mouth right here. So now let's watch this back. <laughs> yeah, see? So now just, mm, like, he just keeps his mouth closed. Save that. And that's all there is to that. So, like, if, if I have any, like, mess-ups in the way that I recorded because I forgot, he goes, mm, you know, like, that's it. Like, that's, that's what you could do to fix that very quickly. All right, moving on. Let's, let's, let's get back to playing that sweet music. And, uh, oh, you probably couldn't hear that very, here, let me raise the audio on that one more time so you can see it. I'm so hungry, suckers. Mm. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I can eat everything. These suckers. Because mm. <laughs> originally when he said, mm, you know, like his mouth was opening, that's not normal. All right, okay, I'll raise that back, or put that back down too. Okay, cool, save. And let's get some music going again. It is like finding little cheat codes, Jomoto.
going to bring in an apple. This is a placeholder. That's the smallest apple I've ever seen. Simulating, oops. some work on it very quickly. lady apple with crystallized skin that'd be a fun experiment with shaders i could i could make it sparkle if i wanted to thing being so small.
Actually, you know what we should do is we'll we'll actually decrease the um, opacity of this probably, or I could just like take it take it and like change it. Do I want to do it this way? Hang on, I might be able to do it a little bit better this way. I'll just duplicate this inside Unreal Engine, and let's just try to change it this way. So I'll increase that. And then I can change the hue to make it a little bit more of a pink. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier. Hmm. But I, I want it to be... Hmm. I mean, it looks crazy. Looks wild. Let's take this. Flatten it out a little bit. Okay. Save that. Now we'll grab that apple. Dang it. Get the parent. I want that stem to still be the color of the stem. So that tells me I, need, I actually need to do it in Blender. That's fine. I can do it in Blender. All right. That's fine. Perfection is perfection. Thank you. 
creative here <clears throat> if I'm gonna if I'm gonna bring this thing up <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the music real quick to let my brain think so creatively if I basically take this apple right now and just like it picks it up for him like almost like he's got magic powers I don't think kids are gonna question that I think they're just going to go with it because it's not like he has arms to pick up anything. And I don't want to do the animation for him to walk over and do it because it's odd anyway, right? So I think it just picks up and goes to his mouth. And then when he bites into it, little pink pieces go everywhere. <sighs> and I can either do the pink pieces in Unreal Engine in real time and have it whatever. Or I could just do that like kids sprite burst, which is basically like a just a you know, images that shoot, I don't know, just, it could be done in, in post very easily, just as easily. Hmm, which way is going to look better? But I think, I mean, this is, this is looking okay. But also, I'm going to have to adjust his eyes, like his look position, because right now his look position is looking a little more forward, but I have the ability to adjust that. So I will adjust that. Um, veggie tails, they don't have arms, don't question it. Good point. Good, solid point there. All right. And also, we need to... Oh, no! Dang it. I just realized something. This was not the right take. Wait, did I not record that, that long take? I did, didn't I? No. I swear I did. Shoot. That that really long, great take that I did, I guess I didn't record it. No, 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 no. This ain't right. That's not, that ain't right. Really? Shoot. I'm going to have to do this again. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a dummy. What a dummy. Really? Six up three. If this, if I open take a quarter right now and it says six up four, I'm gonna be so sad. No, it's not. Okay, wait. Up six. Shoot. Ah. Yeah, there's some weirdness that happened. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe this is it. Oh no, that was that was yesterday's. Man. Huh. Well, hey, you know what? I I I think I, I think I can still use the beginning of this. <laughs> I forgot to hit record. 
That's so funny. I could have swore I hit record. Well, you know what? Honestly, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a loss. Like I said, it's, 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 uh, it's disappointing that I did that, but it's not, it's not a loss. What do you get? Something stuffed in a muffin and lots of might want to think about what you're eating. Nah, I'm just going to eat. Well, okay then. <laughs> Just remember what I told you about unhealthy foods. Okay. <laughs> so then the silly crocodiles started to eat. Shoot. <laughs> All right. So here's here's what I think I'm going to have to do. I think I need to I need to take a mental break <laughs> because <laughs> because that happens. Oh my gosh! Like in I, I think in the future someone's going to be watching this recording back and go. He didn't even record it. He, he never even recorded. He just started playing and didn't hit record. I know it. I know it. I know it. And I'm going to look back on this and think the same thing. But you know what? The cool thing is, again, like what I wanted to show, what I wanted to share here was that it is doable. Like, like right now, you, you kind of got at least an idea of how I was able to put all this together. So... So, you know what, I just, just, for, just for funsies, I'm gonna show you how I render it because I feel like we have to wrap up this. Uh, even though there was a failure, it was not a failure. It was, it was a, uh, a reminder like, hey, next time record. I think, you know, again, it's, it comes down to streaming. But before, actually, before we get into that, though, before we render, let's just do, let's just finish this thing out. So I'm going to do uh, focus. Um, you know, that thing I'm supposed to have. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to basically, like, create where the focus is on this. So what you, what you do is you go to the manual focus distance. And then you go to uh, draw debug uh, focus plane. And then you can just drag this until it hits your character. And that is where the camera is actually focused on. And then hit a keyframe on that. Just woke up from good night breakfast. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to the first keyframe that I've created. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. And then as the, the camera moves a little bit, I'll just keep creating keyframes. So now he's, it's coming in a little bit. So I just move these keyframes for the focus based on where the camera's location is. I mean, technically I, I could just click on the actor to like make it focus on that, but I like, I like to have full control and it doesn't really take all that long. Cool. That's about the same focus, about the same focus, maybe a little bit more in, yeah. Focusing on the eyes or the mouth is good, especially with, like with the crocodile, like he's flat, so. Makes it nice. Can't believe I idiot clicked. That's so funny. And nobody else saw it either. Nobody else, nobody else saw it and reminded me. But that's because a lot of you probably don't, haven't seen this before, how this works exactly. Which I mean, most likely the case. Not a bad thing. So yesterday, uh, some weird stuff happened, but that was because there was legitimately a problem with the program. This was a problem with the brain, <laughs> with the man making it. All the joys of digital development. Forgot to press record, <laughs> forgot to save, lose eight hours of work, then it crashes, realize you've done the last three hours. Yeah, painful memories, yeah. I've had many of those times. Mr. Safety, and, uh, oh, you grew up watching me and Renetto? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. How, so how, how old are you, Francisco? Since I've been making YouTube videos for 18 years, I would assume you're, if you grew up watching that you're probably really young and now you're like past college and have kids and one foot in the grave. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Spicy banana mushrooms, salty pink apples. 
So the other thing too is notice the feet aren't moving. So how I get the feet to move, like eh, when I'm actually recording in real time, the feet will move. Um, but to make the feet move uh, in these episodes like this, oh, you're 39. Oh, I'm, I'm 42. So you're not that much younger. <laughs> okay. Cool. So uh, yeah, let's let's do that real quick. So. Uh, remember how earlier, maybe some of you guys might, might remember, I have the body is one uh, one part of the crocodile and then the tail is a separate part of the crocodile and the head and all that. Well, the body and the tail share some of the same parts when it comes to walking. Like you can see uh, his back foot and his front foot are a different color. That's just like to simulate walking. So I have to basically change not just the body material, but also the tail and, and you'll see You'll see that there. So I'm gonna to go to character mesh. And first I'm gonna find where he starts walking. So I'm just scrubbing the timeline. And I can uh, increase the sound so you guys can hear too, I realize, but that's just not about sound. It's more about movement. Okay, so right there, this is when he starts to walk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to track and I'm gonna say uh, material element switcher. So switch the material that's on him. The material is like wallpaper and the texture is like the design on the wallpaper. So he's covered in wallpaper. And then body, I have several different bodies for the crocodile, but I'm gonna go for body 01. And I'm gonna put a keyframe on it right there. And then I'm gonna go about 10 frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm gonna switch it to body material two, which ultimately switches uh, to the, the legs switching. So yeah, every 10, um, 10 frames on this one because he's walking a little bit slower than typical. Maybe eight frames actually. Let's go back two frames. So one, two. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Every eight frames, he's gonna switch material. So I'm just gonna copy those two keyframes now. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Paste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Paste. It doesn't have to be perfect. I, I went a little crazy on the first episode trying to be perfect and realized nothing mattered. None of it mattered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now with all of those selected, I'm able to now paste more of them. And then I'll select more of those, copy, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just gonna kind of keep going until he stops moving, which will be here. So that means I probably have to do it like one and a half more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now all I have to do is scrub until he stops, which is right there. And then I'll just delete these last ones here. Good. And then I'm gonna scrub forward till he moves again, right there. And I'll just do another paste. Paste. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Paste. And I'm scrub and wait till he stops again, which is right there. So I can I can look at that and use that as a marker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right there is the last change. Cool. Back it out. And I think I only have to do this one more time. I think I'm still gonna use this take. Like even though I didn't get to record or I didn't save the first recording, I'm still gonna use this take. Cause why not? Like it's not, it's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other one was better. <laughs> I was all awake and good. Started to eat. Oh, actually, that was okay. Okay, there's that. I'm going to move this back just a tad. 
First he started with one salty pink apple. I'll just say that's probably the end of it for now, right? Okay, so now that I have all of the feet movements, because the feet and the, or because the, the, the body and the tail share the same material, all I have to do is apply another material element switcher to the tail and then just take all of those keyframes and just apply it straight to the tail. So I'm just copying what I've already made, which saves me a ton of time. So copy all of those. I'm gonna to go to the very first frame because when it goes to paste, it's gonna paste on the first frame. Cool, and I'll now go scroll all the way down to the tail. And then here's the tail. I'm gonna to go to track, and then I'm gonna to go to element switcher, and then just click on the element and paste. And now that's gonna work like a magic. I'm gonna save. Should do that. At least I've been saving today. You know, like that, there could, it could have been worse. All right, so play. Look how nice that looks. Looks like the camera got a little, a little ahead of him right there. So I'm just going to uh, grab the camera. Just kind of drag it back slightly just on that part. Peaches. Something stuffed in a muffin? And lots of funny honey in case your nose gets runny. <laughs> but there were other foods too that weren't so healthy. Yeah, so there's certain things that I can cut uh, back and forth between uh, in that. So um, I, this isn't going to be the final render, but I'm going to show you how I render this. Um, it has been such a rip, rip watching your development from s and Films, The Mean Kitty, Live Each Day, and now Daydream. It's weird. I'll probably never meet you, but I'm proud of you and your growth. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. That's, it's fun. And, and, and I hope that like, by sharing this stuff, it, it helps you in some way too, like to motivate you in, in some way. I mean, that's like, I, I just love this stuff and I, I want other people to do things and not be afraid to try things and just to find more ways to love and enjoy life. All right, so let's go ahead and just render this out. Let's pretend this is the final render, right? All I'm gonna do for this, making sure everything's there, is I'm gonna go to, wait, do I want to, before I start doing that, let's get to where he starts moving. We'll, we'll start from here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render from here. I'll just hit that little movie icon and then make sure that the job is pulled up, which, why is it not? Nope, not. Huh. Oh, weird, that was it, did you see that? Wait, what are you doing? What's this weirdness that is happening? You guys saw that, right? It didn't show up right away and then it showed afterwards. It showed up afterwards, okay, whatever. Okay, so I created my own thing. So basically what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of JPEG because we're not doing JPEGs. I'm gonna render out uh, an image sequence uh, of uh, PNGs. Uh, some people use e EXRs if you wanna get like really deep into like your color and all of that, but like for this, I don't really care. It's a cartoon and the way that I have set up my post-process, which is essentially how the world looks color-wise, I've, I've like perfected that. Uh, and now I'm gonna go to uh, settings again, and I'm actually gonna select um, high, uh, high resolution. And pretty much that's, that's it for how I'm gonna do this. And it sounds ridiculous to do it like that. You guys hear that? I don't know, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, so it's Wednesday. They're testing the the tornado sirens here in Tulsa. Okay. Yeah, and then game overrides. I'm using Movie Pipeline. And da da da. da. So these are my these are my overrides that I use. Okay, Ex expanding it out so you can see if anybody wants to copy any of this, it's fine. 
And then when I go to export, I just make sure to export it to the proper folder. So it's gonna be under my uh, renders folder, which is here, and then episode six, and then uh, I'm just gonna call this one fail, because <laughs> it was a fail. Uh, it's a tornado warning siren, yeah. No tornadoes are coming. It's, 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 a, uh, it's a test. They do this every Wednesday at noon. It's noon. This also means it's lunchtime. <gasps> or air raid. Yeah, the air raids go... So they do have different sounds for different things. And there's even one for like, like floods. There's one for floods. I don't remember how that one goes exactly. Uh, making sure we are at uh, FPS of uh, 30. And then here's, here's what it looks like to have a, an extremely fast uh, GPU. I've got a 4090 and watch how this thing renders. It's not like it's putting a ton of time or work into the render either, but this is how fast it's rendering out a 4K file. To some of you might that might seem slow, but it's it's ripping. <laughs> oh man. Um, through you I found my husband. I learned about Portal from you. Later I was st uh, streaming Portal and he loved the gameplay and started talking. Oh, that's awesome. So you found your Portal through or you found your husband through Portal. That's that's awesome. I'm like the biggest Portal fan for those of you who don't know. Like I, both of my kids are named after Portal. My daughter's name is Chell and my son's name is Atlas. Let's see. Because I found an amazing game series from you. That's, that's and an okay guy. <laughs> uh, do, you guys, uh, do you guys get a booklet or something delivered to you to explain various warnings? I live somewhat close to a nuclear plant and residents near it... Uh, get packages of iodine pills. Whoa, really? That's, that's creepy. Uh, I, to my knowledge, I've, I've never received anything about the sirens that, or anything like that. I just, I look up online what, like what they mean and how they work. So inspiration, motivational, uh, motivation, support. I moved from UK to Canada. I rewatched your Alaska move. Uh, when I had my son rewatch Kristen's pregnancy videos. Now I'm and now I'm sat with my, sorry, I have a really bad, I, I can't read well, believe it or not, uh, with my three-year-old son making video games. Yeah, that's so cool. I mean, a lot of people don't realize how big 4K is. It's an, an insanely more bandwidth. Yeah. Oh, hey, Larry. Yeah, I didn't see you come in. I gave you a shout out earlier, Larry. I was like, yeah, Larry, he was the one that, that helped me d do the camera shake. Told me that was a good idea. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much it there. And then you know once I export that, then I bring it into um, I bring it into Reason, and I reason with it. We we come to an agreement. <laughs> I say, you do work, you work, or I know work. These are the jokes, folks. These are the jokes. I don't I don't know either. I don't know who hired this guy. I don't know who, who, who is working the brain inside of my head right now. All right, let's go back here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back to that same folder where I did the uh, export, so, uh, or the render here. So here, render, and then there, and then there's fail. And then I'm just going to drag this into my project. I'm going to right click on it, go to attributes, and then change the attribute on that to 30 FPS and hit OK. And if, if you ever like go to do this and you want to like actually, you know, render, you know, using frames and, and you don't know what's going on, if you want to do something outside of 24 FPS to create a new timeline that it has a different frame rate, uh, just right click, you can go to cut, whatever, uh, just right click where your, your, your media pool is and then go to create new timeline. And then instead of using uh, the default project settings here, unclick that and then go to format 
and then change everything here and then set it to 30 or whatever it is that you want. And then that's where you do that. I, I remember having that problem. I'm just going to cancel. I'm not going to create it. Um, I remember having that problem and it was just such a pain. But yeah, so um, now that we've got this, I'm just going to just get that one out of the way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag the new clip that we just made into here. And then we can see it play. And it looks really nice. Notice the grass, the difference in the grass. So like see far in the distance how like there's, you can, you could just see a lot further. That's why I render that way. And like, it's so, it's so crisp and beautiful. You can't even, can't even tell. It looks, looks great. For the final render though, I'll be putting more trees a little up close, you know, and, and some other like, uh, objects in the foreground as well, just to kind of like make it look better. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's it guys. I mean, there's, I, uh, you know, I, I did a lot of work here, not a lot of work, a decent amount of work. You got to watch me like change a, you know, a material on an apple very quickly. I painted that apple, whatever. And that's it. That's, that's, that's how I, that's how I do my thing. <sighs> So it's lunchtime and I need, I need, I need to get some food because man, am I hungry? So if, if anybody, if anybody has any questions or anything, feel free to ask away before I take off for food, food time. I need food because obviously, yeah, I've got, I got to like stop and like re restart my brain a little bit after what just happened. Crazy. And again, if you guys want to see these videos, uh, you can go to youtube.com slash just for kids and see the, the new videos. Uh, so incredible to see something so raw go into something so amazing to watch. Thanks. I appreciate that. As long as the kids enjoy it. That's like bottom line. That's the most important thing here is do the kids enjoy it? Do, do they watch this and actually get something out of it? Like I'm trying to teach um, emotional intelligence through this as well as, you know, just other stuff. Bart, what's up, buddy? It's my friend Bart. He just popped in with the glasses down there. Good dude. We spent some time in Paris together. It was fun. I want to finish that. You know, I, 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 I posted one vlog that not a whole lot of people seen. I, I posted a link to it yesterday for some people to check out, but like, I still have like this, this whole Paris vlog that I have to post. Me and Bart, we went and we explored the Louvre today, uh, together, not today. And we, we got to go see the Mona Lisa and a bunch of other stuff. And then we ran around just doing, doing crazies. Good times, Bart. Good times. Yeah, it's been fun, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. If you ever have any questions at all about UE5 or animation or, or, or anything or where, where you should start or what, what, what you should have for dinner tonight. Not really that last one because I suck at that. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, I think it's linkedin.com. I'm not even going to try. Corey Williams on LinkedIn. I'm one of them. <laughs> You'll find me. Uh, and um, Or you can, you know, just hit me up on YouTube. I'll, I'll be checking the comments periodically. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Later. I'll give this stream just a minute for it to like finalize. Instagram at SMP Films. <laughs>